Oh, yo, 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 here we are. Day two of um, pretty much a, a turbo fox body. Uh, I really have no idea why my shit keeps fucking, it'll start recording and then it clips or it stops the recording. It's got battery. It's got a big ass memory card. I really don't know what the fuck is the problem. But um, yeah, so what we're going to be doing today is, well, what I would like to hopefully get done today. I got a lot of time on my hands, a little earlier than yesterday. Um, gonna be removing this shit. I don't know what the fuck it is, but we're gonna get rid of that. Get the bolts off. Um, then I'm gonna start removing um, probably this, get the, the, the hose off. Hopefully there's no coolant running through it. I mean, it's been a while since I ran the car, but go ahead and get the hose off. Um, loosen up the, uh, the tensioner, get the belt off, get the alternator off, and then, um, while the car is on the ground, um, get all the header bolts off, then jack it up, put it on jacks, um, then remove the bolts from the headers to the, uh, H pipes or the exhaust, whatever, um, then I obviously got to remove this shit. You know, still just in the preparation part, you know, just pretty much still getting the car, you know, to tear down the preparation and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the end of the day today, I could mock up, which means, you know, I'll put the, the headers on, the crossover, set the turbo right there just so I could get an idea of how dope this shit is going to look. And a part of me feels like I should, I'm going to try to clean too while I'm at it. Like I'll try my best to clean off and shit and see what's what where and all this shit you know because i started doing more research and shit last night and i'm starting to know what's what like i think this is a map sensor or part whatever and then this is the vacuum source line and shit the tree off and then i know the ecus on the passenger side like i started doing more research and really getting into it now that i actually got the kit and shit but um yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and get this shit off first and then start working down the tear down i'll go ahead and update that whichever part all right so we're back and the progress that we got so far is i'm guessing that battery's dying um i was able to get this plastic piece out uh, i got the alternator out i know for the relocation bracket i'm gonna have to get this shit removed but this fucking bolt is stripping and shit and i don't really like it um so i stopped trying to get at it and um yeah i removed the holes covering all this um I'm, i already know i get it i'm gonna need to fucking when it's all said and done it's gonna need to fucking blood and everything crazy whatever um i believe this is the ac line this shit is fucking cruddy as fuck you have got to be kidding me is that how is that how old this shit is oh my god uh, there's like no point in you being on there as much anymore um then i started removing the fan uh working on the fan next to hopefully help with getting to this because that obviously seems like the smartest uh idea right now but um being that uh these bolts right here are so fucking close and shit uh, i'm gonna need a open-ended wrench set and i don't fucking own that right now so i'm gonna have to take my ass back to this part store or auto store or whatever nah not part store auto store and go buy me some fucking open-ended wrenches right now yeah me this is all fun but like i said thank god i got early time to do all this oh my god fucking scarecrow over here crazy you were garage kept but you still ended up getting fucking leaves in here that is insane oh my lanta all right i uh, also ended up getting a heater in here hopefully um i just closed off the garage so i'm gonna leave that running while i leave i'm gonna go put this on a charger in the meantime and uh hopefully we'll come back 
finish and get this shit all wrapped up and off and uh, keep making more progress. Jesus, like I said, mind you, like I said, I most of the work done to this car prior before me getting my hands on this shit. It was it was in the hands of two other people who clearly didn't give a fuck. What the fuck is this? How am I just now fucking noticing this shit? Oh my god, there's just like fucking wires galore going on over here. I'm gonna probably get into fight, figuring out what the fuck this all is. Last time I checked on YouTube, I think this is something to do. I don't know if this is the ignition solenoid. Um, Over here, I don't know. I think so. Uh, I think it is, to be honest. Yeah, I think it is because it's coming straight from the... And, um, fuck. I'm already forgetting terms and shit. This shit. So I think that is the ignition solenoid. Oh, my Lancer. Look at all that fucking. That's a fucking rat's nest. That shit looks like a headache, bro. But hey, this is what I wanted to do, right? That's what happens. You fix, you know, you start working on one thing and you realize that there's a whole lot of other shit that needs to be done. Um, what? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and run off and do that. I'm probably gonna unplug this before I leave, just so that, you know, just so I do something. But, oh my God. Oh, there we go. I'll go ahead and check back in once all this, once major things have happened, you know, none, none small. Yo, back, um, update, I got the, uh, the fan stroud off or cover, whatever. Um, got the fan off, it was pretty easy. I was able to go to Harbor Freight, pick up some open wrenches and get it off. Uh, kinda, I was surprised how easy it was to get off. Um, ended up taking off the battery cover because of how dirty it was, um, as you can obviously tell. Um, yep, got the coolant leaked out and shit like that. You know, starting to realize how dirty this engine bay is between caked up dirt, oil, grease, coolant, fucking God knows fucking what. Like, it's ridiculous. And then coming to see about, you know, I think I showed you that in the last clip. Um, I went to go get food and get that. And then it's like, the more I start thinking back to how everything is, it's like the more a part of me just wants to really like clean up, organize and reconstruct most of this shit before putting the turbo kit on so now i'm starting to think like damn was this turbo kit smart to get now or was it a necessary evil in order to get the motivation going to really start getting this bitch um at least cleaned up and somewhat back to normal like there's a part of me that wants to just go like brand new on like a lot of shit like a lot of these fucking harnesses and cables and plugs and shit like that like most of this shit like be, like even this fucking like ac line and cover and shit like even this shit right here the the mounting bracket to hold shit up like it, it's like there's just so much shit that it makes me just want to fix and clean before even putting this turbo kit on i mean yeah it can always be done later on down the road in terms of you know because it's still a stock block so if the block would need if the engine would need to be pulled out to get work done and shit like that it's like yeah i could wait and save it on later to wait for that you know i could just probably just clean things up you know make it look nice and just keep it pushing or but i'll probably i don't know i know i'm definitely gonna need to get up under there so part of me is trying not to fucking take the fucking uh manifold off and get up under there probably just gonna just blow that shit out or um clean it myself it only looks like a couple leaves like i said i don't know how this shit gets there but um got the fan off next up definitely gonna be um removing the tensioner because i believe that is actually going to be needed to be done for the relocation uh bracket 
So I'm probably gonna look into that and to make sure that I don't unnecessarily take that off without 100% confirmation knowing that that's what it's for. It's like, my gut is telling me that I'm right, but you know, you always wanna double check before doing shit. But um, we're definitely getting somewhere though. We are definitely getting somewhere. Like I said, definitely still plans is uh to still get the headers and shit off, jacket up and get uh get this thing hopefully mocked up somehow, some way, just to see what we looking at and what we doing and things of that nature. I know it's like almost four o'clock, I think. Yeah, so we still got time in the day. Then I gotta take the oil filter off. Um I got a smaller one for the relocation and shit like that. Uh, because I didn't get the relocation kit, so I got a smaller one so that we don't need to worry about clearance issues and shit like that, shit of that nature. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check back in once, um, either, I don't know, I'll, I'll check back in once, uh, something, something major, something worth go ahead and checking back in with major progress and some shit like that. I think I gotta really cap off that shit so that no, no debris flies in. So, all right. We'll be back. Many hours later. All right, well, I'm gonna end it off the day and the night here. The car is completely on the jacks now. Um, we got the alternator bracket off. Um, in terms of doing, worrying about the uh, relocation part of it, um, this is the air pump, so I'm assuming. Well, shit. Um, should have thought about that one jacking the car up. Fuck it. Um, I'm pretty sure hopefully the relocation bracket is going to have something to do with uh, that shit instead of it just hanging there. Um, we got every, well not we, me, but I say we because of you guys. Um, I got the new oil filter on. You can see it right there. It's uh, small, hella small compared to the other one. The other one is in the... Uh, oil pan so i'm not gonna grab it in terms of comparison but if you know you know it's pretty uh bigger um this side the driver's side was such a breeze getting every bolt and nut because there's um i think like two to three nuts then the rest of them are the bolts for the headers uh, it was such a breeze but the passenger side was such a bitch um and every single last nut and bolt had a uh, clingy, they were real clingy. They fucking stuck to my socket like a dingleberry. I'll try to plug in, I'll put, cover up this spark plug just to you know, cover it up. Had to pop off the cover, the fucking coil spark plug thing cap. Because shit was in my way, but we got all of them out. Um, took me forever. It's about um, almost six o'clock. Been on this shit for a while. Um, I dropped the fucking my ratchet like about five times, I think. Um, but it's all done. That heater over there, I don't know. You can see it. That sixty dollar heater from Home Depot has been a pretty. Has been. It hasn't kept the garage like a hundred percent warm i'll probably say it's about it could have been like maybe 50 degrees in here you know between 50 and 60 degrees um but it's not like a hundred percent warm but it kept it warm enough um to actually enjoy and appreciate working and shit in here um in terms of lighting i'm definitely gonna need to work on getting lighting in this garage but like i said thank god this is just january and I'm only gonna have like two more months left of this, you know, cold and lighting problem. Um, and it doesn't even really matter. It's like it don't, it doesn't affect me that bad. It's like once you get into working, it's like you look down, you're working on something. By the time you pick your head back up, you got so much shit done, so much time flew. And it's just like, you know, oh shit, it was daylight now, it's dark. But every bolt on this side was a bitch to get out. It was a pain in the ass, but we got it. Um, I planned on mocking this shit up and taking the the headers off and all that shit today, but, um, and then not fucking realizing, uh, no, wait, not that bolt, I gotta worry about down there. Okay, cool. Um, 
yeah, no, I'm just, uh, I'm not, I'm not with it today. <laughs> nah, not today, guys. Uh, high hopes, but nah, it's okay, though. Like I said, we got hella time. I got hella time. This isn't something I need to get 100% done quick as hell. I got hella time. Plus, I still got to get things like, um, I still got to, you know, eventually I'm going to be getting more tools with this. I'm going to be, you know, I still got things missing like a fucking uh, aftermarket uh, ECU, um, you know, gauges, you know, shit of that nature. I, don't, I might even upgrade the alternator while I'm at it. You know, things are still going to need to get fixed and replaced. Um, and upgraded along the way anyway before the turbo kit could fucking before the turbo could be 100% installed and up and running you know there's like so much to go so it's like I'm really I'm I'm really taking gonna take my time with it and appreciate every step along the way so but uh <laughs> my uh homemade makeshift um breaker bar and the bolts or leverage bar but uh yeah, guys, that's going to cover up for today. I got to go ahead and edit up these last two days worth of videos and split it into two videos because I'm not doing one big ass video. Going to do two videos, obviously two days worth. And uh, we're going to call it a day, man. And uh, hope might work on it tomorrow. Might not, depending on the weather, depending on how I'm feeling. I know I still got to get some more personal things done in my life besides working on the car. But um, so I might take the day to do that. But appreciate you guys for checking in like always.